The first thing that we want to understand is that there's only really four things that can happen. Okay, the graph can either go up to the right or down to the right, and then it can either go up to the left or down to the left. Okay, but what determines whether the graph goes up to the right or down to the right? Okay, let's talk about that first. So what determines whether it's going up to the right or the, down to the right is the leading coefficient. So I'm just gonna abbreviate here, leading coefficient. If it's positive, then it's gonna go up to the right. If it's negative, it's gonna go down to the right. Okay, now you're probably wondering, well, why is that, Mario? Well, let me see if I can explain to you. See, when you look at a polynomial, okay, you write it in descending order from the highest degree all the way down to the lowest degree. So what happens is this term that has the largest power of x, that one's gonna grow the fastest. Say for example, if x is 10, 10 cubed is 1,000 times two is 2,000. But over here, if you just subtract 10 and subtract one, that's only like subtracting 11, but this term over here is 2,000. So you can see like, you know, if I graph this as I go to the right 10, I'm gonna be way up here at like 2,000. So that tells me that if this leading coefficient's positive, I'm gonna be going up to the right. Now, if it's negative, like the second one here, 10 cubed is 1,000, but then times negative two, that's negative 2,000, it's gonna be going down to the right because it's a really large negative number. Basically, when you focus in on this highest powered term, this highest degree term, you can then ignore all the other terms because they're not gonna be as influential as x gets larger and larger, meaning as you go to the right end of the graph or you go to the left end of the graph. Okay, so now the second part is, we talked about the leading coefficient, that determines the right end behavior. Now we wanna talk about the left end behavior. And it's very easy, what you do is when you focus in on that highest powered term, okay, that highest degree term, it's gonna be the first term when you write it in descending order. You now look at the degree, okay? So what the degree tells you is this. If it's even, like an even power, like two, four, six, then you think that the end behavior is gonna be the same. If it's odd, then you think it's gonna go the opposite direction. So just remember, even is the same, odd is the opposite. So if we're looking at this first one here, y equals two x cubed, we have a positive leading coefficient, so it means it's gonna go up to the right like this one or this one, but it's an odd degree, so it means it's gonna go the opposite way to the left, it's gonna go down to the left. Now you might be wondering, well why is that Mario? Well if we put in a negative 10, you see how we get a negative 1,000 times two is negative 2,000. See how it's going the, a large negative number. So this one is gonna to go to this guy right here. Let's look at the second one. Y equals negative two X cubed. Well, you can see a negative leading coefficient, so that means it's going down to the right. Odd degree means it's going the opposite way to the left, so that's gonna be this one right here, okay? So we'll just draw an arrow there. The third one, we've got a leading coefficient that's positive, okay, so that means it's gonna go up to the right. We have an even degree, so that means it's gonna have the same end behavior left and right, so that's gonna be this one. And the last one, you can see it's a negative leading coefficient, which means it's gonna go down to the right, but because it has an even degree, it's gonna also go down to the left. It's gonna have the same end behavior to the left.